Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Thank you for joining me for today's Friday 5 Minute Makes. Now this really is going to be 5 minutes. Sometimes they take a little bit longer. This is such a super quick card. All you're going to need is some uh, inks that will react with water. So Distress Oxides, Distress Inks are perfect. You need a white card base, a water pen, a blending mat, um, a sentiment, die cut, a strip, a sticker, whatever it may be, and you need some plastic lids. Okay, so I've chosen my colours. I've gone for purple, green and blue. These are absolutely my favourites. And I'm just going to smear these onto my mat. I'm not being precise with these at all. Just put a few smudges of each colour on there. Just like us get a bit more of that blue. There we go. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my lids and I'm just going to rub it into the ink. You can't see the ink on there. Just be aware, like me, you might have a bit on your fingers, so don't press that into your card. And I'm just going to gently, now I'm twisting it about an eighth of a circle, okay? So it's really, really um, quite small there. You can't see a great deal of ink. That's what we're going for. Then I'm going to do the same again into the blue and purple. Let's do it. Uh, let's do another one that's more. If you twist it more, you get more coverage. Let's do one up here. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same with the smaller lid as well. With this one, I'm going to try and pick up both colours, but obviously being smaller, it's a little more difficult. There we go. So let's go into both there and put this one here. Perfect. That's all I need. I've gone for an odd number of course now I'm going to take my water brush and all I'm going to do is with clean water on there I'm just going to brush around the edge of these circles on the inside what you'll notice starts to happen is that color starts to gently bleed out into your we'll call them bubbles but you could do this with squares with stars with hearts depending on the shapes that you have so just running the more water you have of course the more reaction you're going to get so you can squeeze your pen a little bit more and just allow that color to come away just a bit more and the same up here there we go now once you've got done that the colors starting to creep in but you can if you want to just pick up a little more color if you wish from your mat while it's still there and just run it along the edge if you need you don't have to you might find I find more with distress oxides I have to do this than I do with distress ink they dry a lot quicker the dye soaks in and the pigments left on the surface which is lovely um, but with the inks they do stay wet a little bit longer so I'm just going to go follow the lines and add a little more blue and purple in the green For some reason the green has seems to have mixed quite well it's not too bad okay so then I'm just going to leave that to dry and to be honest leaving it to dry is the longest part of the process now that's all dry I'm going to just use up again a little bit of the ink that's on my mat not wasting anything just do a few little splats a few little droplets just of one color I'm not going to go mad with all the colors and then lastly I'm going to take my sentiment and I'm just going to adhere this over the top so wet glue is perfect for this if you're worried about postage you don't have to apply foam tape all the time um, let's pop that across those two bubbles there today is your day now if you wanted to you could go along with a little bit of sparkle maybe you've got a glitter pen uh, maybe you've got some gems but that is so cool it literally takes minutes I love it so I hope you've enjoyed this today please don't forget please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy these five minute makes I have lots of other videos for you to see and also go and check out the rest of the playlist just here for all of those other Friday five minute makes that we've already done Thank you.